Teaching teens financial management is an area we often come up short in the US. While the education system has made recent strides, it's still relatively uncommon for personal finance skills to be taught in high school. This leaves it up to parents to ensure their children can successfully manage money. To help with that task, Copper has created a mobile app that allows parents to monitor their teens' spending and saving. With Copper, parents can easily move money back and forth between their own account and their teens' account. In this video, let's take a closer look at what Copper has to offer. Hey everyone, this is Andy with The College Investor, investing and personal finance for millennials. If you're new to the channel and like what you hear, please hit subscribe so you're ready when our next video comes out. Thanks. Who is Copper? Well, Copper is an all digital bank designed for teens. It was formed in April 2019 and it's based in Seattle, Washington. Its founders are Eddie Berenger, Stefan Berglund, Regarding their company, Behringer is quoted as saying, it became clear that our high school system was failing Gen Z by not equipping them with basic personal finance skills at a critical point before they become adults and can fall victim to predatory credit. With FinTech and open banking, we realized we could build a financial product that provided tremendous value to teens and their parents and that would drive real positive financial outcomes. Let's talk about what Copper has to offer. While its website may lead you to think differently, Copper itself isn't actually a bank. Copper is a fintech company that uses Synapsis Phi for the backend technology of its app. Synapsis Phi is a partner of Evolve Bank and Trust. The relationship between those two entities is what makes it possible for Copper to offer banking services. Copper is a mobile app that helps teach teens about financial literacy. Many banks don't have accounts oriented towards teens. With parental oversight, Copper lets teens spend via an included MasterCard debit card. And parents are able to track and monitor their teen spending. Copper makes it easy to send money back and forth between teens and parents. If parents want to send money for an allowance, everything can be done digitally. Given the digital nature of our economy, this makes complete sense. With their parents' help, spending and saving habits can be discussed. With the assistance from Copper, parents can help their teens take control control of their finances and learn to spend responsibly. Copper accounts include a MasterCard debit card. The card is accepted everywhere that MasterCard is accepted. You don't have to wait for the physical card to arrive before you can use it. Once a parent funds the account, the virtual debit card can be used. It can be used from the Copper app or added to Apple Pay or Google Pay digital wallet. You can also use the debit card to withdraw cash at over 55,000 ATMs nationwide. Wide. Let's talk about depositing cash with Copper. You may want to avoid this route if possible since it'll cost you extra. Copper uses the Green Dot Network to add cash to customer accounts. That means you have to go to a Green Dot retailer location in order to do this. And know that these retailers often charge a fee, which can be up to $4.95 per transaction. To avoid these fees, try to transfer funds digitally instead. Then there's the savings account feature from Copper. Now teens can easily set savings goals and monitor their progress. One-time transfers to savings can be initiated at any time or Copper users can set up automated savings schedules as well. Outside of these great features, Copper also provides financial education. Copper helps teach financial management to teens in two primary ways. First, it offers a financial literacy quiz, which allows teens to test their knowledge and learn at the same time. Second, it provides financial lessons that it calls cheat codes. Copper's financial education department is headed up by Liz Frazier, a CFP and author of Beyond Piggy Banks and Lemonade Stands, How to Teach Young Kids About Finance. Let's discuss parental involvement with Copper. Teens can still spend all their money in one location. The app gives them the freedom to do that. That's why good parental involvement is essential to getting the most out of Copper. Parents have certain controls through the app. These include the ability to view transactions, enabling notifications when teens make a purchase, the ability to easily send and request funds between accounts, and you can automate recurring transfers between parent and teen accounts 
for allowance or other regular funding. With regard to deposit and spending limits, there are some limits with your copper account. There's a $2,000 monthly load limit into your copper account for debit card funding or ACH and a $2,000 daily spending limit. Transferring money into your copper account through ACH is free though, and that process takes between three to five days. If you use a debit card to transfer money into your copper account, a small fee will be assessed to cover copper's transactional cost. You can also use Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal to transfer funds into your copper account as well. Let's discuss some fees in more detail. There aren't any monthly fees, account maintenance fees, or overdraft fees. There may, however, be charges for copper's third-party ATM operators if you decide to withdraw cash. If you wanna add cash to your account, like we talked about, there may be fees charged by Green Dot retailers. A small fee is charged when using an existing debit card to transfer funds into your Copper account. Perhaps you're ready to open an account with Copper. Well, here's how to do it. You can visit the Copper website to open an account. We'll have a link in our video description to check that out. If you are under 18 years of age, you'll need a parent or guardian to finalize the account documents. Once you've applied, you'll need to download the app to access your account as there is currently no way to log in on a desktop browser. In the end, is copper worth it? Well, for parents who wanna teach their teens financial management, Copper is a great supplement to that. In addition to providing financial education, it allows teens to use real money rather than being limited to just discussions or a course. Copper doesn't cost anything to use if you avoid its usage-related fees, which is fairly easy to do. Overall, we think it's worth checking out. However, Copper doesn't offer any credit building tools and pays virtually zero interest on deposits, which is 0.001%. If either of these drawbacks are a deal breaker for you, you may want to consider alternative teen checking accounts such as STEP or Axos First Checking. We'll have links to those and Copper in our video description. Thanks for hanging out today. This is Andy from The College Investor, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.